Smart Pilot 79 back again. Thought I'd uh, show you now how I've laid the game room out. Uh, foundations have been laid, which means we can build upon it. It's only going to get better. Um, going to start putting all the games in, um, but I've got a little idea how I want to do that for the channel. And I think everybody's going to think that that's okay. So uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Um, it's today, what time check are we on? Sunday, 19th of April hype of the 2020 lockdown so we're still in the thick of it um big thanks to the world uh, and everybody that's doing their bit out there and still keeping the, the wheels turning all my uh, trucker buddies out there that i work with out to the nhs yeah you too um captain tom oh mate salute you sir um anyhow without further ado what I want to do is take you around the room, uh, show you what I've done. We've still got some shelving to put up. We've still got the glass shelving to drill holes in the wall and, and secure that, basically. Um, also, the Tower of Power, as you can see there. It's got some of the consoles all in there, boxed up at the minute, boxed up at the minute. So, um, yeah, they'll also be coming out. Uh, we might even put the boxes somewhere in the room. I don't know if we've even got enough space to do that. But um, yeah, hopefully can have a little barbecue later on today. So um, trying to get some videos put out and put together. I've got another little video that I did over at my previous house where I lived. Um, I had some B&O, Bang & Olufsen, uh, MX4200 and an MX4002 that were up in the attic that I bought and stored or loft if you will in this country. And um, I've brought them back over. I wonder where they are. Hidden. I wasn't actually going to tell anybody what was underneath there, but hey ho, I have now, haven't I? <laughs> so we're going to see them, we're going to unveil them later, um, and oh, there's lots there's lots of content I want to put out, So and lots I want to do. We'll do a little tour of what I've done so far. I think you're going to be impressed with it. My own little daughter said, uh, when she came in here, my five-year-old daughter, she said, oh, it's so tidy, Daddy. Yeah, that's because all the boxes of games have been put out of it. I'll show you where they are as well, up in the attic room in the loft room, um, that's they're going to be coming back in box by box and my plan is to go through each box with you, everybody out there watching um, and it's going to be a bigger surprise to me as it is, it is to you what's in there because we've got a collection that I've been building for uh, over, over six years now, way over six years um, and a lot of the time what I would do is I'd buy the games and I'd put them in a box or I'd start building a box of games I've been buying and console peripherals and stuff like that and consoles mark it up i've got an inventory for everything that i um had in each box so you know if i ever needed to pull some bits out to sell them or or if i just wanted to find them say right you know what i'm going to set that ps3 up i'm going to set that ps2 up and have a little go on it so i'm going to do that um, i'll show you downstairs as well i've got a big um bookcase dvd cabinet whatever you want to call it full of playstation 2 games japanese pal all in there, loads of shooters, loads of shooters. Not everything, but a lot. I've got most of it down there, I think. Um, so I'll give you a little glimpse of that. That's gonna get put into a crate, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that upstairs and go through that and do a um, do a kind of like unboxing of that because that I already unboxed some time ago because um, I put a little um, PlayStation 2 Slim pink one that I got for my daughters. We had it set up at the previous house. They used to play. Um, to Street Fighter 2, and that's for another video. I'm going to do a little history thing on his, uh, Street Fighter 2, a bit of a nostalgic trip because I was around as a as a kid, young teen when Street Fighter 2 came out. Um, certainly on the home console, on the SNES, and in the art in our local arcade, which is where we used to go and uh, button bash it. So there's lots of stories and history on the gaming side that I um, want to go through, and, and I'm going to go through. Uh, with you, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm glad I'm, you know, sharing is caring. That's what I always tell the kids. Uh, ultimately, practice makes perfect, right? So I've got the phone at the minute, my iPhone 6s Plus, leaning on the on the black shelves that need to be going up on the wall. The IKEA floating shelves. Um, I have got a little, um, what do you call it? Like a, it's a tripod attachment to clip your phone in because I've got a couple of tripods and whatnot. Um, so hopefully that little item should be turning up any day now i think it should have arrived yesterday but you know um we'll, we'll see that shortly and that's going to make things a lot easier 
because I you don't know. I literally just spent about 20 minutes trying to set that phone up. I had it set up somewhere else. Now I've got it set up there. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, catch you on the flip. Okay. So I thought I'd show you these um, PS2, a few PS4, and some Xbox 360 titles that I've got here. As I say, I'm going to box all these up. That's actually a bag full of <laughs> Nintendo 3DS and DS games. Again, stuff I've got to go through. Um, but yeah, let's have a little look, see what we've got here. So we've got some PS4, some few shooters in there. Um, again, Mega Man bits and pieces. I think I saw that in a box in the video, last video upstairs. So I might even have that twice. I think that was Mega Man Collection 2 or whatnot. So yeah, there's a few, a few in there. Hybroxia. PS Vita, I got a really great deal on that the other day. That's brand new. Um, I've got the PlayStation TV, which can actually use um, play PS Vita games. However, I think there's only a selection you can use, but it can be hacked as far as I'm aware, um, uh, which will allow us to do that. Um, what we've got in there? Ninja, Sa Ooh, Ninja Saviors, Return of the Warriors, oh, which I've got come through from, I don't know, what's that limited run or strictly limited, something like that. Capcom Digital Collection, Xbox 360. Little unknown one to some people out there in the old shmup community, so I'll pull this up. If you have a look on here, it's got a few of the Capcom classics, Street Fighter 2, um, Final Fight. The one I was bought it for is 1942 Joint Strike. Now, I have played this. I might even still have some of the footage, so I might include that on this one. So, um, yeah, so I probably won't make put too much in. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that one anyway at some point. Let's pop that back, stick it up now. <clears throat> oh, another one I got here recently. Really strange. Never seem to see this one on eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Never seem to see this one on eBay. Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. I thought it would perhaps only got a, an American release. But my old buddy VJ confirmed, nope, it's on Amazon for about 22 quid. So I got a pretty good, good deal on that, less than that anyway. So that's one we're going to be um, playing. I quite like to do a pinball setup, you know what I mean, with a flat screen, kind of like a pinball. Uh, another project for another day. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to look at. I was cut the DVDs in there as well. Uh, got some, got some uh, soundtracks down in there. I believe probably come with some of the strictly limited. There's all kinds of stuff. But anyway, let's have a quick look. I'll try and go slow so you can have a look. Some of these titles obviously in Japanese, so unless you read Japanese, you're not going to be able to uh, tell what they are. But that's cool, because we're going to box all this up and we're going to pull it all out in another video um, up in the game room, because that's what we're going to be doing, getting all the boxes that I've collected over the years. And oh, I can't wait to start playing them all, to be honest with you. Some of these I'll have paid back in the day, but um, it's going to be cool. <laughs> DVDs, again, I've just been putting stuff in here, really, just keeping it out of the way. But, um, yeah, say a few few titles you can have a look at. Country music album. Yeehaw, Grandma. I love a bit of country. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I remember when I bought this one. Mishihimi Summer. Perfect. A bit of Hello Kitty. That's right, I've got daughters. I don't mind Hello Kitty, too. It's all good. Um, you probably, when you look through this, you're going to see there's a lot of doubles. Uh, good example, 1945, one and two arcade games for PlayStation 2, the ports. Um, they, they just, people couldn't seem to give them away. I pick them up sometimes for like three pounds, you know, which is like, I don't know, what, five bucks, five dollars, less than that. Um, so to be honest, when I saw them, I would just, I would just um, pick these games up. So I was just like, yeah, you know what? I'll have them, perhaps sell them on, flip them over in the future when, when and if the price went up and helps fund, helps fund um, future collections and whatnot. Um, these two here, I think these are actually repros. I've got uh, eliminate, eliminate down, and uh, divine ceiling, which is meant to be a really bad schmuck to be honest with you, but currently it's got the legendary semi, not porn, but you know anime uh, girl action in it when you uh, do certain levels and whatnot so yeah i've not played it but we'll we'll, we'll be getting that cracked out um, i think that one come with a manual as well i've seen it on ebay at the minute you can pick it up for about oh 25 pound i think which is cool 
A few of the old Mad Cats Xbox 360 arcade game sticks. Again, these did seem to fetch a decent price. Um, and I just scored these every now and again. I think only one of them's got the breakaway cable, but you can buy them cheap enough. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to probably, probably end up selling one of them, keep a couple or whatnot. Anyway, let's um, let's head on upstairs. A little uh, something from Limited Run that'll be unboxed at some point. That from the Prime Minister again. It's 2020. It's lockdown city. Coronavirus is out there. Apparently, uh, this is a camera I bought uh, years and years ago for about 70 quid. I thought about using it for doing the channel, but I might I might try it out, but. I think my phone's probably better. Um, oh, we've got some arcade sticks. There's an arcade stick collection in there. Again, that uh, that Daija arcade arcade um, stick that was actually a gift from my buddy VJ. He will remain anonymous, so we call him VJ. So kind, and um, that kindness will get repaid definitely in the future. Um, so this is a uh, BNO Bang and Olufsen. Bio Vision 332, a 32 inch. Oh, it's a beautiful telly. Off TV. I've started having a bit of a. I think I had a bit of a problem with it. I'm not sure. It might just be because it's not been used for a bit. Uh, there's a forum, CRT forum on Facebook, which is a great group, great place to go. Uh, you have to check that out. So, yeah, let's take this upstairs.